Today's video is on binomial distribution. So in this video, the probability of a man hitting a target is 1 by 3. If he fights 5 times, what is the probability of his hitting the target at least twice? So at least twice plays a vital role here. And see the second question, how many times must he fight so that the probability of his hitting the target at least once is more than 90%? is more than 90 percent so here first of all what is given the probability of man hitting a target is 1 by 3 so in the solution let's get started so p is equal to the probability of hitting the probability of hitting a target is equal to 1 by 3 therefore P is given as 1 by 3. And next Q, the probability of not hitting the target. The probability of not hitting a target. Which means 1 minus 1 by 3. So, Q is equal to 1 minus 1 by 3, which is equal to 2 by 3. So, we got the values of P and Q. See here, P and Q are ready. And next, what is it given? If he fights 5 times, so N value is equal to 5. And what is the probability of his hitting the target at least twice? See here, N value from the question is 5. So, N value is equal to 5. So, we have to find out when the target is at least twice when he hits for five times see first solution one is probability at least twice hitting a target at least twice for n throws see here here n value is equal to five from the question n is equal to five P is equal to 1 by 3 and Q is equal to just now I solved this is 2 by 3 and now I have to calculate this one that is probability of at least twice minimum twice maximum to, till 5 so instead of adding 2 3 4 and 5 so I am subtracting 1 minus probability of X less than 2 so which means that probability of what is the value which is less than 2 that is probability of x is equal to 0 plus probability of x is equal to 1. Now, according to the binomial distribution, so we have probability of, see the formula I am writing, probability of x is equal to r is equal to ncr. This is p power r, this is q power n minus r. So, all the values are ready here. Now, I am going to substitute. That is probability of, see here, probability of x greater than or equal to 2 or at least twice is equal to 1 minus n c r here r is equal to 0 so n is equal to 5 5 c naught what is our p p is equal to 1 by 3 power 0 and q that is 2 by 3 power n minus r plus here r is equal to 1 so this is n c r p power r and this is q power n minus r n minus r so, here probability of x greater than or equal to 2 is equal to 1 minus nc0. This is 1. Anything to the power of 0, this is 1. And see here, this is 2 by 3 power 5 plus 5c1 five is 5. This is 1 by 3 and this is 2 by 3 power 4. And see here, probability of x greater than or equal to 2 is nothing but 1 minus this is 2 by 3 power 5 plus 5 times of this is again 2 power 4 into this is 3 power 5 2 power 4 into 3 power 5 see here if i take the minimum value that is 2 by 3 power 4 then this value is equal to this value is 2 by 3 and this is uh, 5 by 5 by 3 this value is 5 by 3 and see this can be written as 1 minus 2 by 3 power 4 and if I take 3 as LCM this will be 2 plus 5 and see this value is 1 by 2 by 3 power 4 and this is uh, 7 by 3. 
so the probability of hitting the target at least twice is equal to see here this is 2 divided by 3 power 4 into 7 divided by 3 into minus 1 plus 1 the value here is 0 0.5391 so here the value is 0 0.5391. So this is how we have to solve for at least twice. See it is so simple from the question here. The probability of man hitting a target is 1 by 3 is given. So if he fires 5 times. So P is given as 1 by 3. N is given as 5. Q is equal to 2 by 3. And we have to find out his hitting the target for at least twice. At least twice means minimum two times so maximum for five times so instead of doing that i have subtracted one minus probability of x is equal to zero plus probability of x is equal to one see the next question is how many times he fights so that the probability of hitting the target at least once is more than is more than 90 percent so solution two so from the solution two here given that what is given given that probability that hitting the target at least once at least once is greater than 90 percent is greater than 90 percent see at least once means minimum once maximum till five greater than one is greater than 90 percent so instead of doing this one i am subtracting one minus probability of x less than one see greater than or equal to 1 i am subtracting x 1 minus probability of x less than 1 so which means that what is the value which is less than 1 that is probability of x is equal to 0 which is greater than 90 percent so according to the formula we have probability of see here probability of x is equal to r is nothing but ncr this is p power r this is q power n minus r so here we have n is equal to 5 see here so n value we have to find out and see and r is equal to see here r is equal to 0 and p is equal to 1 by 3 and q and q is equal to this is 2 by 3 so now if i subst substitute see here n c r what is our n n will be like that n c naught p power r this is q power n minus r is greater than 90 percent so which means that n c naught is 1 this is 1 so this is 2 by 3 power 1 which is greater than 90 percent so for which value of n this value is greater than 90 percent what is 90 percent here that is 1 minus 2 by 3 power r greater than 90 by 100 so if i cancel this one this will be 2 by 3 power n which is greater than 0 0.9 see here 0 0.9 the value here is greater than 0 0.9 so if i take n is equal to 1 see here if i take n is equal to 1 what happens 1 by 2 by 3 power 1 so if i take n is equal to 2 see here if i take n is equal to 2 then see what happens if i take n is equal to 3 1 by 3 whole cube so if i take n is equal to 4 1 by 2 by 3 power 4 if i take n is equal to 5 so this is 1 by 2 by 3 power 5 if i take n is equal to 6 so this will be 1 by 2 by 3 power 6 so let's calculate this value so this is 2 divided by 3 the value power 1 so into minus 1 plus 1 the value here is sorry this is 2 divided by 3 into minus 1 plus 1 the value is 0 0.33 so here the value is 0 0.333 so if you see here this is 2 divided by 3 par square into minus 1 plus 1 the value here is 0 0.5555 so in this case 2 divided by 3 power cube into minus 1 plus 1 so the value here is 0 0.70 through 270 this is 2 divided by 3 power 4 into minus 1 
plus 1. The value here is 0 0.80246. So 2 divided by 3 power 5. This is 5 into minus 1 plus 1. So the value here is 0 0.86931. So the next thing is 2 divided by 3. 2 divided by 3 power 6 into minus 1 plus 1. The value here here is 0 0.912208. So this is the case. See here, this, this relation sh should be greater than 0 0.9. So for what value it is greater than 0 0.9? For n is equal to 6, this is this value is greater than 0 0.9. So this is less than 0 0.9. This is less than 0 0.9. So this is also less than 0 0.9. This is also less than 0 0.9. So this is the only relation which satisfies for n is equal to 6. It is satisfying the relation. Therefore, this is satisfied for n is equal to 6. So this is satisfied for n is equal to 6. Therefore, 1 minus 2 by 3 power 6 is equal to some 0 0.9122 which is greater than 0 0.9. So, for what value? So, for which value this relation holds? So, for n is equal to 6 the relation holds. So, this is how we have to solve. This is also so simple. See, for how many, how many times must he fire so that the probability of hitting the target at least once is more than 60%. For how many times he has to hit? So he has to hit for 6 times. See, this is so simple that for hitting at least once, it should be greater than 90%. So P greater than or equal to 1 is greater than 90%. So it can be written as 1 minus P less than 0. What is the value of X which is less than 1? X is equal to 0. So if I substitute, so this is the relation left so for which value it is satisfying so this value is less than less than less than less than so we need the value which is greater than 0 0.9 so for n is equal to 1 for hitting six times so then the probability will be at least once which is greater than 90 percent thank you so much for watching if you don't understand so go through this video for one more time definitely you can understand and pass it on to your friends if you really like thank you so much